Hello there! Today we're going to talk about how you can overclock the 2070 Super. I've got this beast right here. It's a wonderful card. I cannot recommend it high, highly enough. Uh, we're going to use uh, two tools today. We're going to use the MSI Afterburner to overclock, obviously, and uh, Super Position Benchmark so in order to test. So. To start things off, uh, you're going to first need to set a more aggressive fan curve. Uh, the fan curve as it is, if you leave it on auto, uh, it's going to hit 70 degrees and uh, then performance will start to drop uh, a little bit but still noticeable. Okay, so we need to set a more aggressive fan curve. So we go to settings, go to fan and you need to set it I, I, my, my, cur my curve as it is it's gonna hit uh, your GPU won't hit more than 60 degrees it's as simple as that so just copy this and you'll be fine so next step what you need to do is first set the power limit as far as it goes as far as it goes it's it's not uh, an aggressive uh, choice uh, the power limit is uh, low enough for these cards so it won't damage your card it won't do anything bad just max it out you don't want to mess with core voltage okay you want to leave it as is because you might get some uh, more performance but by increasing it but you will lose mileage and you don't want to lose mileage over the card so just leave it as is it, it's not worth it next up when this is set to zero okay when this is set to zero you're gonna have to uh, just go by increments increase uh, the core clock let's say first by 25 and then run a superposition benchmark okay if everything goes well and it will because plus 25 it's not that big a deal uh, you're gonna try to in go incrementally so another 25 another 25 um, if you ask my opinion you can try it out of the box plus 100 and then see if you get any artifacts or whatever you don't wanna push it any further you're gonna go a, a step back so uh, mine goes very well at uh, 125 that puts the card at uh, uh, 2100 somewhere close there so it's perfectly fine and then when you hit the, the limit here on the core clock you wanna try to test the memory overclock now my memory overclock it, it's the same procedure as it was go incrementally uh, go you can increase every 50 points or whatever but uh, don't push it too far just test and test and uh, you'll see how far your memory clock goes the reason th that we are first uh, testing the core clock and then the memory clock is because uh, core clock is more important than to your overclock so while memory is important important memory speed uh, you won't uh, have any real gains by pushing it too far while the core clock is uh, is more not noticeable okay uh, with uh, my settings over here I get 10% uh, more out of the card easily 10% per free performance it's it's easy, as easy as that so you run the superposition benchmark and then you will uh, start to notice that uh, if, your, if your temperatures don't go way up you want to keep it if temperatures go way up you might want to step down when, when testing the superposition benchmark you want to test it at 4k optimized you don't need a 4k monitor to do this 
it will simulate a 4K monitor, but it will stretch your GPU high enough so you will have something uh, solid so you can be sure. However, if by any chance you pass uh, every benchmark with high colors and you notice that while playing your favorite game it's not as stable as it should be, then by going one step backwards you should be absolutely fine, no problem. Because uh, sometimes superposition benchmark is a little forgiving. You are also free to try the 3D Mark benchmark or any GPU heavy uh, benchmark as is. Uh, so that was pretty straightforward and simple. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about uh, how to overclock your card. I might have uh, missed something. Uh, I'll be sure to answer all, any questions you might have on this. So that's all for today. Uh, one, one last thing. You might want to, you might be tempted to go a little bit further on the card. My suggestion is don't overdo it. You might get it's not worth it to stretch your card just to get uh, one or two frames uh, more. It's going to be, there is a sweet spot on these cards and uh, usually a 10% more performance is that sweet spot. So uh, be happy when you get that sweet spot and leave it as is. Okay, thank you guys for listening. Bye-bye.